go. Night number six. Well, that's a convenient. Oh. <laughs> Get absolutely wrecked. Oh, and a cursed. How delightful. And archers. Well, well, well. If it isn't just extreme pain. That's why I like power staffs right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Did you just see what I did there with uh, <laughs> with that power staff? It. Uh, can I get a shot at you? If I stand here, can I get a shot at you? What about here? I think from here, I can only get a shot on one of them. That's really awkward. Let's see, so if I put that there, didn't quite get it. <laughs> Good stuff, Nico. Good stuff. But yeah, it, it does a lot. And since we got the stun here, I will do that to hopefully share the, the good word of power staff destruction. Not quite getting the... Uh, not quite getting the kills here, though, unfortunately. There we go. We'll do that, and then hopefully we're durable enough. It's it's a little too expensive for my taste. Czar, that would be the only complaint that I have. I'm very concerned with this double accursed situation we got brewing here. Okay, at least we're not going to lose any mana. Um, I don't know that I want to be this much in the danger zone. We'll see. And then I'm just going to move up and let's, let's see how hard we're hitting now. Okay, it doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel great either, but... Yeah, and let's let's also clarify that it is a level one power. There's also a level one power staff on this hero. <laughs> now over here, I think. Can I get? I can get in this way, but I only have three movement if I do. So I don't think that's the play. I think I do something more like this. And then just clean up some mist sensors. But this is this is the final form, right? This is this is what we're really going for. We uh we want to be able to hit across the entire map very comfortably. So let's see now. Connected, connected. So we can do Except for we can do like one, two, three. One here, one, two here. See what that looks like. And then four here just to stop this guy, even if we don't kill him, that's fine. Does it, is it going to take all four to get the kill here? Are we even not going to get it? Okay, we're not going to get it. But I'm clearing this up because this side, I think, we're going to have... We're going to have future problems. And I'm actually going to quick reload to make some more progress on this as you do a bit of a fighting retreat. Now, over here. Let's 
Just gonna step out of the way like so. And then over here, we're just gonna do that. All right. We got some bad torch placement. It's uh, it's definitely true. Ouch. Ouch. Archer's annoying, but not catastrophically annoying. Now, if I step to here, you can move to here, and then your range is decent. So I, I may have already gone too far, but I am going to try and get that one. Easier said than done. Now, I don't like that you took a bunch of damage, but well, I'm going to come back to this one. Let's get this sorted. And then a magic missile to ease what ails you. Okay, and then we'll back up. And over here, this is this is the tricky corner. Cause I wanna I wanna pull them away. I really wanna kill these two. Maybe on my way to See, this is the problem. I can't get. Okay, I think I don't go. I think I don't go th around you. I think I go through you. Kaboom. Love that. And then I'm going to jump over and start running you this way. Actually, let's... Before we do that, let's get you out of the, out of the picture. Okay. And then we'll run over like this because this is safe. And then I think we'll be able to get around it. Okay. This is... This wave is feeling a little dicey, though, for sure. Okay, we're gonna step. We're gonna step in, so I can do like two there, one there, two there, one there, maybe, just to get a little bit of damage in. Who's, who's putting the da danger into things? Who, why can I... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out who's moving here. Oh, it's probably this guy here. I'm going to put four here because if this gets the kill, we'll get some nice contamination spreads out of it. Yeah, okay, now I'm now I'm retreating safely. Okay, we'll move back a bit, try and avoid getting siphoned, as it were. It's just so good. The stun propagation also is just, it's silly good. Okay, let's back up a little bit more and then
Our poison side is uh, in the danger zone, and archers make me very nervous. Pretzels make me thirsty, and archers make me nervous. This guy will eat some of the propagation, but it'll definitely clear that out. And then... I hate that we didn't get the kill there, but I think if I move to like here, I think I'm relatively safe. Actually, maybe you're going to be able to move to here and then you have one, two, three, four tiles of range. So if you move to here, you one, two, three, four tiles of range or one, two, three, four tiles of range. So this probably is safe. I'm tempted to spend the focus. I think I'm going to. Let's get rid of this archer so that we're not dealing with, like, double archer shenanigans. But for light side, this is currently feeling kind of bad. The warriors you can sometimes ignore, but if things get bad, you uh, they can they can get quite bad. Hmm... It's disappointing. I guess I'll just run across like this, but most of the turn was used, so I'm not I'm not complaining. Really need to start getting some volatiles here. One more time, I think. Four there, and I guess one there, and one there. I am extremely disappointed. I'm going to run all the way over like this. Actually, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going to run back like this. Kaboom, as it were. Actually, rather than doing that, let's uh let's these action pots aren't gonna get used more effectively anywhere else. Okay, now what a mess. One, two, three, one here, one, two here. That two at the very end might have been a little optimistic. Oh, no, actually worked out quite nicely. Get this archer dead, I hope. All right. There's there's a person literally staring me down directly here. I probably should have noticed. Okay, that's all safe. Moved here. We're gonna have we're gonna have to deal with these, and you're sorted. So okay. I think I think we've done what we can do. Okay. I hate accursed. I despise them.
Can you make it here? You can. Getting out is going to be a slightly different uh, piece of the puzzle. Really? I hate that you can't jump over when there is nothing to jump over. Um, oh, I'm start, finally starting to get a few crits out. So if I move to here, that's not great for me. If I move to here, you and potentially you are going to come after me. I guess that's the best we can do. Get you out of the way. And get you moved in the right direction at least. We may have to dig ourselves out of this one, but it strikes me as potentially the right decision here to just get in the thick of things and see about trying to transfer some stun around. At this point, we can only have one thing adjacent to us. Uh, we've carved ourselves a nice little cubby hole. But I think we still get out again. And then I'm going to try and stop these remaining two accursed in their tracks. And I'm hoping I get rid of the sensor just because it's in the way. We can put two here, one here, and one here. Not taking advantage of initiator there is a little bit shameful, but... And if I use quick reload here, I can kill this uh, archer. I hope. Okay. Now we may take a hit. We might. And then over here I'm feeling... This is probably the side that I'm feeling most confident about. Yep. Almost feels unfair sometimes how good opportunism can be. Hey, Bible Thump. Uh, the game has changed a lot since then. Uh, good memory, though. That was uh, that was a fun time in the game's history where slow trap spam was just uh, extremely broken and awesome, and you could just go for that. Uh, sadly, those times have, uh, have passed. Slow traps are okay now, um, but I would not... I would not rely on them too heavily. Uh, this map is significantly different also than the map that uh, 
that was the only map out once I think slow tra trap spam was at its uh, at its peak. It was okay in Glenwald, but not really uh, not really that great anymore. Uh, mainly the waves are a lot more diverse now than they used to be. Elites make things a bit more complicated. There's uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of good stuff going on with this game. If you enjoyed it at all back then, it uh, the game is really fun right now. It's in a really good place. The devs have done a pretty awesome job with it. So I would highly recommend checking out the last spell again. Uh, they actually nerfed scepters quite substantially, uh, Bible Thump. That was that was another thing that was a little different back in the day. But uh, scepters with momentum builds now are uh, god tier. So they actually took scepters down quite a large notch with uh, with some changes. Uh, right, rightly so. I think they're in a good place now, but. Yeah, I mean, with a scepter, you can you can easily be hitting for like ten thousand damage on bosses and things, which uh, is good. <laughs> is unsurprisingly strong. I generally consider momentum heroes to be one of the requirements for most of my runs. I'm always shopping around for someone with uh, with momentum because. They are so uniquely good at killing bosses. Get wrecked, bats. Let's clean up the rest of this crew, and then... For only two mana, I'll grab this in hopes of popping this guy no no luck but it was the thought that counted and then we'll enable opportunism with contagion here and then i think i think i gotta start with it because it's it's sapping action points which is extremely not cool two uses left might as well Let's tuck ourselves into that corner. The walls are closing in, but I think we're okay. I love the little hidey hole we created for uh, for Farah over here. Completely safe except for archers. It's a good life. God, bats hit so hard. I am regularly surprised by by them. Oh, I'm using my low-level power staff. That was an error. Okay, and then I think I... Once I get done with this, which I will be done and out of here shortly. Nice hit. Let's, uh, let's jump over with our leapfrog superpower and I'm going to try to just clean things up. Uh, I feel like if I move one forward, we're better because this will propagate to here and then come back to here. So that'll give us a little more, a little more chance of securing both the kills. We didn't get it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna say some crits would be really a standout addition to what we got going on here. Yeah, blue health is uh blue health upgrades are not to be underestimated. I'll just say that. 
Okay, let's run back. Now, unfortunately, we have we have tapped out on mana, so gonna have to dip into the old infinite mana well. I wish quick reload worked on it, um, but I think we're gonna be able to get the poison under control here. Most worried about that accursed. All right, the power of poison compels you. Pick that guy off. We'll use our other opportunism enabler to blow that guy up and then, all right, looks like we clean up this corner, no problem. We might take some damage on a Ballista here, which is a bit of a bummer. Yep. We do lose the S rank. Uh, I'm okay with it. This was this was a rough night, and we invested a lot in our economy to get here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. We'll try to save the... We'll try to save the A rank. That would be my preference. This poor guy, he's like, I finally made it through. I broke the wall. And the other thing that we need to make sure that we're doing is actually taking a bit of time to regen some mana over here on Elisa Marie. Definitely should use the isolated there. Okay, so how do we... Uh oh, we may not have a lot of stalling time left. Because I only left these three alive, and the Ballista are going to do some serious work on them. Yep. Hmm. Well, we can use some workers to regen some mana. This guy's not going to do much, so. Ooh. Yes, uh, Bible Thump. I would say substantially more difficult. Uh, did Miss Sensors exist when you uh, when you played last? Let's see. Anything else we want to utilize potions wise before we get out of here? Yeah, let's get the health potion on you. All right. Now we'll finish it up. So I guess if you if you were hitting Apocalypse Five, yes, Miss Sensors existed. But uh, but yeah, the the game the game has definitely uh, upped the ante in terms of difficult. This particular map has these uh, these brazers around that light at the beginning of the map, and you have to extinguish them. This map is pretty remarkably different from some of the old historical maps, so uh, it's quite a step up in difficulty, um, but but very enjoyably so. I think we we care as much as I love the skill range here. We needed uh, we need some opportunism on this character, and we're just not finding it, which is making me a little nervous. I'm I'm digging bully right now, but I think I'm digging flexibility more. 
Yeah, we'll grab flexibility. Then you, you silly goose. What are you, what are we looking for here? Yeah, I, I think that there was only Lakeburg back then. There are two new maps that have shown up since then, or three new maps actually. So there's a tutorial map, then there is Gildenburg, which is a precursor to Lakeburg, which has been also completely revamped and has a sea serpent boss. Then there is Glenwall. Yeah, the perks rework is really cool as well. Um, then there's Glenwald, which is a very cool map that's kind of more like this year surrounded map. And then there is Elderlicht, which is the map that we're on now that is uh, surprisingly difficult. All right, we pick up Volatile finally. That's a good, that's a good get. And then... There's some crit power, which I said I needed, and I wasn't joking. And then we just need some damage. So even though it's not a high percentage damage, we're going to grab it. And then we'll also grab Initiator, because our multi-hit hasn't been too remarkable. Yeah, so the maps are all uh, surprisingly different, I would say, is the, is the main thing. Yeah, so the new perk system, these three... Uh, columns here are your melee, magic, and ranged. Uh, and each one of these slots has two potential perks that you can have in it. You then have two specialization trees. In this case, it, I got assassination and poison. And then you have this grab bag space that has a bunch of random perks. So when you go to the inn, when you select the character, you have the ability to see what they have for, uh, for specialization perks and also their traits, but that's about it. So a lot of, lot of interesting stuff. It's, uh, I think they've done a great job with the game. Let's see. Slap that in there, that in there, that in there. Push back the fog, because why not? I'll do a guess where just to get a handle on where the attacks are coming from. Yeah, Blood Mage is still around. Uh, it's... I, I would describe it as good, not great. Uh, in some cases, it's great because you can go infinite with it and it can be really, really beneficial. But it is, uh, it is not a perk that I seek out too heavily. It is right here, Blood Magic. It's also been nerfed slightly, so now it's 4x the cost in health, but still very good. You, you, really, need some, you really need Vampirism to go with it to enable it fully. Let's see. I do like the devil armor here. The cracked crystal is actually quite nice, though, also. Our armor makers are going to be putting out some pretty crummy armor. Oh, a devil armor here, though. That's That seems like an easy take. Some worn greaves. We have two pairs here. I think I prefer the the daily, yeah, given all things being equal, I'll take three daily mana regen over max mana. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll grab the max mana. And then over here, I think I'm going to roll this because I just picked up a devil armor. Ah, the cracked crystal is good, but I'm not planning on going stun on our second opportunist. For armor is huge here. So Ingrid gets the fur armor. Then our wand friend. Oh, I actually don't think I can lose those pants. That's a little unfortunate. You can take the isolated. You can take that. We needed a bit more skill range over here anyways. These are decent. You have too much accuracy. I think a bit more crit could do you good. And then we'll sell all of this. That druid staff is not interesting. That's what I'm talking about. We'll pick that up for sure. Oh, we did have a level four one actually. Damn, that was a bit of a waste. Because I think I will. Well. We could probably, we could probably go with both of them, actually. Yeah, let's pick up both and just get Elisa Marie fully good to go, because she was sitting on some proper garbage. Let's 
We need a better hand crossbow as well. We have one here. For Florian, we'll grab that. Priest Pants, not that interesting. Ingrid already has a level 2 staff. So I think we don't necessarily need that. I think that's going to be it here. I'd like to get our production upgraded. So let's see if we can do that. That rusty hammer is uh, starting to be a bit of an eyesore. I'm going to do accommodations, assuming I can afford... Yeah, I'll do accommodations. We're not going to pick up the actual hero. But we will do that. And then... You can take one of those. And you can take one of those. The thing that I would like more than anything right now is a one-handed axe. That would be lovely. But it doesn't look like we're going to get that. So Pancratius is probably going to continue to struggle a wee bit. Lisa Marie, you should be pretty strong now. I think you can probably be over here, and you can be kind of here-ish. Well, given, given what we're working with, actually, I think I'll put you over here. See if we can cover this with you, this with you, and then... Pancratius, you're going to be pretty ineffective. So maybe we'll put you there and then you over here. And then you can dabble in the middle of both of these. Uh, One-handed axes have seen a nice renaissance in my eyes in conjunction with power staffs. Uh, the opportunism builds with the new perk trees are strong for sure. So I think that it is, it's worth taking a look at them. Who has my health potion? There it is. Put this over here because Pancake took a hit. But yeah, Opportunism is a build that I've come around to only recently, but it is uh, surprisingly strong. Okay, so you two, you two are pretty capable, I think. Okay. Oh, we have, oh, it's so hard to see, but in this corner here, can I, can't quite zoom in in a way. There we go. In this corner here, we are going to be getting some over there. That's fine. They're going to have a long time to path. Same with this. And we need to take out the torches first. Do we have the same corner synergy stuff going on? Can I hide this? I guess I can't hide this. All right. So I think what I will do is probably... Three mounted ballistas over here and get two of them seasoned. And then did we have... Yeah, they. the thing that I like about one-handed axes is that opportunism scales very well. And the one-handed axe's primary attack uh, scales off opportunism, so it's uh, pretty good for business. They, they've done a lot of tweaking. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome to see all of the changes that they've made. I'm a little nervous about archers right now, so I'm not going to put my characters too far out to sea. But let's, uh, let's see what we can do here.